the life of an onion could be pretty exciting eh so the bit that we grow normally and use and eat is this these are some caravel rose de roscoff i grew this year from home save seed so how does one get from this to saving seed to grow your onion the next year well you need a whole year in between to actually grow the seeds and that's what i'm showing you here but before that i'll just mention bolting because i know this happens to some of us if we sow if we plant sets in the ground an onion set that you can also grow onions from is actually an immature onion so it's taking advantage of the fact that an onion is biennial that means it grows to completion from seed to seed in two years not in one year that would be an annual a lot of plants are annuals as well onions biennial same as beetroot carrot parsnip for example so over winter it goes dormant and sets that are grown especially to plant to make onions the following year are sown very late in the year about where we are now this is early september to get a very small onion which then overwinters as a very small onion and you plant that in the ground ideally not before equinox which is 21st march if you plant it before that chances are it's going to have enough cold weather on it to make it think oh i've been through the winter and this year i'm going to flower which is what the second year is and not the bit that you want you want the first year experience when you plant a set so these were incidentally were grown from seed which i sow in the greenhouse towards the end of february early march do have a look at my videos on growing onions for example and also there's some on saving seed of many different vegetables so how do we know it's interesting actually to have a look as well at these the number of stalks coming out so each of these is one onion which is producing up to six even seven stalks it's like multi-sowing in reverse so that's one onion there that we planted in march have it it had gone through the winter as a dormant edible onion goes in the ground and by april already you're seeing little green stalks and very quickly they turn into flowering heads which are beautiful actually these were really gorgeous from about the middle of may until and through june and and lovely bit of color and shape and three dimensions in the garden and then it's just a question of waiting for this amazing moment to happen and it's a bit nerve-wracking because we've had a wet summer here and i was afraid these were not going to make it but lo and behold if i hold this bowl here i'm just seeing now only now like 9th september just rubbing this you see how all those seeds are coming out but if i tried this a week ago it would not have happened and i can also feel that these seeds are quite dry and hard which is what we want so actually i'm going to just break that off i'll leave that in there now and what you can do is keep this somewhere dry and warm for up to another two weeks and then more of the seeds in there will have gone dry enough to rub out I found from experience that it's not worth trying to get every single seed out of that, partly because you'll then have way too many seeds. I mean, it's a lovely thing to share. But the later rubbing out seems to give seeds a slightly less vigor. These first ones are the ones that really give best results from what I've seen so far. I've been doing this about three years. And one other thing I must mention is the number of heads here, the number of actual onions. I'm flirting with the limit. Some people say you should have 40 onions planted all growing together to have sufficient cross-pollination a big enough gene pool in other words to grow strong viable seeds and if for example you had one seed head if you let one onion go to seed it won't make a fine onion it, the seed might not even germinate it's inbred so you need quite a few that doesn't apply to every vegetable but for onions carrots beetroot in particular in this kind of category if you like uh, it's very much the case you need quite a few and if you have an onion going to seed from bolting <laughs> i wouldn't keep it it doesn't feel right to me i mean it has been kind of been through a winter you could try it but i i think it's much safer to do it this way so grow your onions save your best ones that's the other thing so all of these those are lovely big onions and i'd be very happy to keep them all winter they should store onion grown from seed stores really well better actually than grown from sets we'll keep them in the house dry that way they store better and they'll be good to plant they might just be starting to shoot around the middle of next march and then they can go in the ground there's probably enough in that clump in uh, to, to have a 
a group like this and to make your seed have fun with that.